Hello everyone and welcome to the Dark Side of Magic. My name is Cody and today we are going to get into our second box of Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we opened our last box so uh, we're going to see how we do on this box here. Uh, a couple hits that we need yet are Arclight Phoenix which wasn't a hit when we opened our first box but it is now. Uh, Assassin's Trophy, we still haven't got one of those. Um, Nullhide Ferrex, Lazav, um, we need a Raw. Um, not a whole lot more than that. I mean, Thief of Sanity, Chromatic Lantern, there's a couple of them in there, here and there, but we'll see how we do here. We're going to open half of it and uh, save the other half for another episode, another video. So, our first box we did the left stack and the bottom half of the middle row. So this one will do the right stack to start and the top half of the middle row. Man, look at these, how they're all cracked out. how bad that is. That's crazy. middle stack here, top half. Let's see how we can do. Alright, looks like we're starting off with a foil. Invert and invent. World Soul Colossus. Inspiring Unicorn, and look at that, one that we needed, a Thief of Sanity, and a Foil Wee Dragon Knots, very cool. Another foil? Really? Wow. Electrostatic field. Goblin banneret. A glow spore shaman. And a steam vents. Alright, good hit for the shock land. <laughs> uh, I seen that land border there and I thought it was going to be a foil steam vents, but uh, such is not the case. But it is pretty cool looking. Foil is it guild gate. Whispering Snitch, Affectionate Indrick, Thoughtbound Phantasm, and our rare is a Mythic and it is Divine Visitation. That's good, that's one of the other hits that we needed for a Mythic. I guess I need to make a Mythic pile here. 
know if you guys probably can even see that. Okay, no. <clears throat> no well. Right. So two foils. A mythic and a steam vents so far. Out of three packs, not too bad. Got a Crackling Drake as our first uncommon. A Gatekeeper Gargoyle. A Wand of Vertebrae. And Dawn of Hope. I haven't been reading any of these, but hopefully, hopefully you guys know what they are. I'll start reading them, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> For one colorless and a white. It's an enchantment. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two colorless. If you do, draw a card. Three and a white, create a 1 1 right soldier creature token with lifelink. <clears throat> it's pretty cool for a life game deck. Keep drawing cards. On to our fifth pack. Hope y'all had a good Halloween here. It is uh, right after Halloween right now. Hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween. Flower and Flourish. Good for battle. Oops. No, nope, and you already seen the rare, I'm assuming. Inescapable Blaze and a Narco Amoeba. That was actually my uh, promo in my Demir uh, pre release. It looks pretty cool and foil, but obviously it wasn't something that you wanted to get. But. Last one of the middle pack here. Alright, Rhizome Lurcher. Rock Charger. Thought Erasure. Sprouting Renewal. And a Bounty Agent. For one and a white, it's a creature human soldier 2 2 with vigilance. Tap and sacrifice, destroy target legendary permanent that's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. Could come in handy. Alright, moving on to our right stack. Shields, Thought Erasure, Wand of Vertebrae, is interesting, and a Bounty of Might. For four colorless, two forest, it's an instant where you can give three target creatures or one target creature plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three until end of turn. Make something either one thing really big, or you can make a couple things really big. Alright. All right. We need to get some more foils. We've only had two. Come on now. Of a lava coil, Golgari Find Broker. It's pretty good in the meta right now. Grappling Sundew and Imara Soul of the Accord. 
We got two of these in our last box. <clears throat> For a green and a white. Whenever Amara, soul of the Accord, becomes tapped, create a 1 1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. It's a 2 2 elf cleric. So, not be bad for a Selesnia token deck. Hey, there she is again. Guild Mage, the Necrotic Wound, and Goblin Manoret, and our rare is a Vivid Revival. For four and a green, return up to three target multicolored cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile, Vivid Revival. Very interesting art on that. Come on, man, you can make it to you. <laughs> More some rare lands. More foils. Doesn't look like we're getting those either. <laughs> Alright, we have a Golgari Raiders. Beam Splitter Mage. Gird for battle. And, alright, one of the good split cards. Expansion and Explosion. For hybrid blue-red, two. Copy target instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost four or less. You may choose new targets for the copy. Explosion, X, two blue, two red. Deals X damage to any target. Target player draws X cards. Pretty good. Static Field, Swath Cutter Giant, and a Plague Crafter. That's a good one. I think that's sitting at like, eh, it's a little over a dollar. But for an uncommon, that's not too bad. Let's see. Sitting at about nine, about right around a dollar. So, and look at that, we have a mythic Tristani Discordant for three a green and a white. So, one for dryad. Other creatures you can control get plus one plus one. When Tristani Discordant enters the battlefield, create two one one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. Beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Right. Two mythics. Could have been a better better one, but hey. One Conclave Tribunal, Thoughtbound Phantasm, Got Status and Statue, and out there is a Beast Whisperer. That's one that we didn't have either. For two and two green. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Very good. And a Vernati Shield Mate. Pretty 
cool. Pretty cool art there. Alright, about halfway through this stack here. I think we are exactly halfway through the stack. Alright. Notion Ring. Conclave Cavalier. The Legion Guild Mage. Sinister Sabotage. That's a good uncommon. And a Tajik, Legion's Edge. For one, a red and a white. It's a human soldier with 3 2 with haste and mentor. Prevent all non combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. For a red and a white, Tajik, Legion's Edge, gains first strike until end of turn. Not too bad. How have you guys fared on opening packs of Guilds of Ravnica? You drafted it. Have you played some standard? What have you been doing with it? Join Shields. Demir Spybug. Creeping Chill. And our raider is Charnel Troll. For one, a black and a green. It's a 4-4 troll with trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll. Otherwise, a sacrifice is set. A black and a green. Discard a creature card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll. Let's close the guild gate and revolution. I hope we don't get a bunch of the same hits in this box as we got in our last box. It's actually looking uh, quite familiar other than the Divine Visitation. Beacon Bolt is our first uncommon. A demotion. Uh -oh. My light just died. Right. Mm. We'll get through this one and I'll fix the lighting real quick. Lotless Giant and an Erratic Cyclops. Three in a red. It's a zero eight with trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erratic Cyclops gets plus X plus zero until end of turn. Where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Alright. I will be right back. Alright, I am back. See, that looks a little better. Right. Looks like we got three more to go. Swarm Guild Mage, Arboretum Elemental, Circuitous Route, and our rare is a Mausoleum Secrets. One in a black, it's an instant with undergrowth. Search your library for a black card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Alright, guild gate and soldier token. Come on now, we need a good hit here. Been kind of lackluster, come on. Yeah. Not doing 
very good on the foils either. Guild Summit. Glaive of the Guild Pact. A Street Riot. And our rare is an Omni Spell Adept. Four and a blue. It's a 3 4 human wizard with two and a blue tap. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Is it Bill Gate and a Row Emblem? Is that a good sign? Looks like it got a little bit on that corner there. Alright, last one here for this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. You can also check us out on social media. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Get in contact with us. Beacon Bolt. Affectionate Indrick. Sunholm Stalwart. And our rare is a Sacred Foundry. Alright. It's not a bad hit to end down here. We, we can stand that. So we got two mythics. And we got a steam base. And a sacred foundry. Got a beast whisper and expansion and explosion. Deep of sanity, a couple bucks there. Not too bad, not too bad. Foils, let's see. We only got three foils. But, uh, one uncommon and two commons. So. Alright, like I said, please hit the subscribe button right down there. Like the video. Or, sorry. The subscribe button's over here, isn't it? <laughs> subscribe, like, comment down below. Check out on the side over there for other videos. And uh, and in the description, I'll leave a video, or a link for the last video of our last box that we had. So if you haven't seen it, you can check that out and uh, see how we did on that. So, thanks again for coming to join us in the fun over here on the Dark Side of Magic. My name's Cody, and I will see you guys soon. Later.